Hello and welcome again to another reading from the book, The Faith I Live By, a daily devotional. Today's reading is entitled, Lesson Book for All Mankind, January 4th. For the prophecy came not in old time by the will of man, but holy men of God spake as they were moved by the Holy Ghost. 2 Peter 1, 21 God committed the preparation of his divinely inspired word to finite man. This word, arranged into books, the Old and New Testaments, is the guidebook to the inhabitants of a fallen world bequeathed to them that by studying and obeying the directions not one soul would lose its way to heaven. The Bible points to God as its author, yet it was written by human hands and in the varied styles of its different books it presents the characteristics of the several writers. The truths revealed are all given by inspiration of God, 2 Timothy 3.16. Yet they are expressed in the words of men. The Infinite One, by His Holy Spirit, has shed light into the minds and hearts of His servants. He has given dreams and visions, symbols and figures, and those to whom the truth was thus revealed have themselves embodied the thought in human language. The Lord speaks to human beings in imperfect speech in order that the degenerate senses, the dull earthly perception of earthly beings, may comprehend his words. Thus is shown God's condescension. He meets fallen human beings where they are. The Bible, perfect as it is in its simplicity, does not answer to the great ideas of God. For infinite ideas cannot be perfectly embodied in finite vehicles of thought. Instead of the expressions of the Bible being exaggerated, as many people suppose, the strong expressions break down before the magnificence of the thought, though the penman selected the most expressive language through which to convey the truths of higher education. God designed the Bible to be a lesson book to all mankind in childhood, youth, and manhood, and to be studied through all time. He gave his word to men as a revelation of himself. It is the medium of communication between God and man. Thank you, dear friend, for listening. I trust that you have received the message that God had in store for you. Be sure to come back tomorrow and listen to another reading. God's peace be upon you. Maranatha.